All right. Um. I see Azelf. Azelf is like my little buddy. I love Azelf. Azelf is awesome. I wonder if he's gonna explode. Um. I do see him. He scares me because I have like a four things weak to fighting. So I need to get rid of him as fast as possible. So yeah, Heracross is the threat here. Uh, I doubt he's going to lead with Heracross, but I'm going to go ahead and lead with Infernape. Ampharos, um... I don't think I've eat like, an Earth move on, like, anything. No, 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 I do not. So I could close combat him and see where that leads me. I will probably get paralyzed off it, and a paralyzed Infernape doesn't sound cool. Because Infernape will take that out this thing pretty well. I don't know how fast this thing is. But Infernape is good for him. Um Absol's even good for him. I'm gonna close combat. Oh, he mega evolved. Alright, so that's a two hit KO. He can't one hit me. And this thing does not get priority. So unless I get like screwed and get like minimum damage, I'm pretty positive that this guy's gonna die. And he could go into probably Oh, Azelf. How well does Azelf take that? He takes it better than Alakazam, that's for sure. No, Azelf is a lot, a lot faster. Well not too much, but still. It, it matters. It will definitely matter. Um I could like sack Infernape here. Yeah, I have like two other fighting types. We'll be fine. I'm gonna go for the mock punch just for that little bit of like Damage, how much will that do? Alright, it gets him down to like half. Knock off, that's cool. Now I can go into Absol here. Now I believe it's a speed tie after Mega Evolving, so I could Sucker Punch. And this guy seems to be physical, so I don't think he'll have anything for me. Unless he U turns, then that's, that's a problem. I kinda wanna just kill him. But what would he go into? Probably Heracross. But if he does, then I could Psycho Cut him. So I'm going to go for the safe sucker here. Failed. Are you going to set up on me? I don't think Play... Play Rough might one hit, but it could miss, and we are speed tied, probably. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're both like 115 base. See, this isn't Poke Battle. I can't click on it and figure it out, which is frustrating. I'm going to do it again. Okay, good. So I don't think, um, that's not really, there's nothing to fear here, besides maybe tornadoes here. Alright, you. What can I do to you? I don't think I'm going to be able to one-hit this guy at all, but I don't know what this thing does. See, this is a problem. Before I go into a tier that I'm not familiar with, I should probably figure out what everything in it does. I don't know what this thing does. All I know is that grass will, like, murder him. I wonder if he has anything for just not. Wait, does he have sw swift swim? Okay. That's cool. I'm gonna go into Empoleon. I don't think he can do anything to Empoleon. He does a good amount. Not, not a whole lot, though. I could probably set up rocks here. Rocks will be decent. I don't think he has anything to get rid of it. Unless some unless Tornadus gets defog. Low kick! That's cool. Low kick is cool. Do I need you? I don't really need you. Doesn't look like anything sets up hazards. But again, Tornadus could do all this stuff. And I don't even know. So I'm going to go for a Scald in case he doesn't attack me for whatever reason. He's basically guaranteed a kill here. Empoleon is, is that guy I just let die. Mainly because he's... Oh, okay, you're gonna Swords Dance. Yeah, I don't know why he'd do that. <laughs> There's no point in me keeping Empoleon around. So that kind of sucks for him. Scald, though. See, Empoleon is definitely, you know, a, a rather nice pokey, but compared to, like, Infernape... I just, I, I don't know. Infernape is like one of the best starters ever, then you have Torterra and Empoleon. 
It's just, uh, what are you going to do? Now, you have Moxie. I don't really care if you get a Moxie boost, because Absolute Speeds, we can probably kill you with a, um, uh, He's not mega. I think he's scarfed. If he's scarfed, it doesn't really matter because he used knockoff on me. So I'm going to psycho cut. Nothing wants to take the psycho cut. Nothing resists the psycho cut. As elf is already gone. So what are you going to do? He's paralyzed in fear. And my majestic, majestic white wings. Think he could take this? Yeah, he can. Doesn't really matter, though. Is this technically... No, I don't have to worry. He doesn't have static anymore. I'm going to Psycho Cut again. So he sacks that off. That's cool. So, Heracross is probably Scarfed. If he brings it right back in, then I know he's Scarfed. And at that point, I could only go into Chestnut because everything else is weak to fighting. See, the fighting weakness is a pain. Originally, this team was, uh, Roserade, Tentacruel, instead of Absol, and no, no. What was it? It was Infernape, Lucario, Chestnut, uh, Mega Blastoise, Tentacruel, it wasn't Mega Blast, I don't even know. It, but I know I had a, like, I had two poison types and two fighting types, so there was a big psychic weakness here, and it was kicking my butt. What do you do? I kind of want to play rough you, because I don't think he... This thing, he's like a crit guy, right? He has sniper, he tightens his focus, and blah, 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 blah. Again, I don't know what this is. What, what, what do you do, Mr. Dargan? You live! What? 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 What the bull? The bulk, the bulk. I know his stats are pretty even, but the bulk. So now we have a problem. We have a Heracross to deal with. I don't know if anything that will for sure kill Heracross. So I'm gonna go into you. I'm just gonna when in doubt priority out here. Oh no, you have a Psychic on you. I don't know if revealing Psychic is a good idea, but oh well. If he brings that hair across, he's scarfed. There's no doubt about that. Tornadus. What do you do? You have Heat Wave. I don't like that. This thing is the one with Heat Wave, right? Hurricane. Oh my god! I'm scarfed. The question is, will I kill? Will I kill? Will I kill? Alright, um... Ice Beam will for sure kill. Does fighting... I'm going to Thunderbolt. Yeah, because I don't know... I can't remember if fighting resists um, ice or not. So basically, I need to figure out if this thing is Scarfed. I don't know that, though, because he's Scarfed. He has knockoff. So basically, there's no way he could kill me. It's basically lead me from here. Unless he's not scarfed and he somehow outspeeds me, which I really doubt is going to happen because I have like 10, I think, let's see, 85 and I'm 95. Yep. So lead leave for that. Hmm. So I guess maybe it's banded. It's probably banded. Yeah, it probably was banded. Because all he used is knockoffs his entire time. I don't think you should ban a knockoff user. Because once he knocks off, you lose like half your damage, and it's sort of. I don't know. I just. I mean, it could work, but eh. Anyway, that's, uh, that was a full game. 17 turns. I guess that's full. Ah. Ah. It, it was close. He did pretty well. I really got to get rid of the. You know, I gotta make sure to not leave, like, a huge, like, four Pokemon weakness to something when I do a, a next session with a different team. Because, I don't know, I, I see this. I see this fighting weakness coming back to bite me in the butt. Watch someone bring a mono fighting team. I'm just gonna cry. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later.